सो गाइज आर नेक्स्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज अ लेजी लर्निंग एल्गोरिदम हाउ इज इट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईगर लर्निंग and why is uh, why is knn a lazy learning machine learning algorithm so there are three parts uh, uh, let's first define what is a lazy learning algorithm okay so in machine learning you can broadly classify machine learning algorithms into two categories one is lazy learning and the other one is eager learning and according to wikipedia uh, you can see in machine learning a lazy learning is a learning method in which generalization of the training data is in theory delayed until a query is made to the system okay so this is the definition as opposed to eager learning where the system tries to generalize the training data before receiving queries okay so yaha uh, over here uh, you can see generalization basically means learning learning the pattern in your data okay so let me explain it in simpler words so lazy learning algorithms are those algorithms which don't learn during the training phase they do not learn anything during the training phase whatever they learn or whatever they do is in the prediction phase okay uh, one example is knn we'll discuss on the contrary eager learning is a mechanism where the learning happens in the training phase okay that's the main difference apart from this there are few more differences the first point of difference is uh lazy learning algorithms they store the training data whereas eager learning they don't store lazy learning algorithms store the training data because they need it during the prediction stage whereas eager learning algorithms have no such requirements the second point of difference is training is very fast training is very fast in the case of lazy learning why because there is no training happening there is no learning happening the algorithm is literally doing nothing during the training phase and that is why training is extremely fast whereas in the case of eager learning uh, training is slow training is slow okay one more point of difference is predictions are slow predictions are slow in the case of lazy learning algorithms whereas in the case of eager learning predictions are fast predictions are fast predictions are slow because uh in the prediction phase you have to do training as well like you don't do training as uh, per se but there is a lot of computation involved while predicting the value that is why prediction is slow okay one of, one example of eager learning is decision tree or or more algorithms like svm or naive base most of the algorithms will fall into the category of eager learning very few algorithms fall in the category of lazy learning knn being one of them okay so now we know the difference between lazy learning and eager learning now let's see why knn is a lazy learning machine learning algorithm in order to understand this uh, let's take an example uh, let's say we have a data where we have cgpa of the student iq of the student and we also know whether the student was placed or not during the college placements okay we have values like this okay we have values like this let's say we have 100 students our training data consists of 100 students now what i can do is i can plot a graph okay over here i can put cgpa and over here i can put iq now i can plot all of the students 
like this. These are my students. Okay, so the red color represents the students who are not placed, and the green color represents students who were placed. Okay, now let's see how KNN works. So during the training phase, literally KNN does nothing. It will just store these points. It will just store the training data so that it can use it during the prediction. Okay, now let's say for this example, K is three. So we will take three nearest neighbors. Now let's say a new student comes whose uh, CGPA is six point five and IQ is hundred. So let's say that student is uh, this student, and now we want to predict whether this student will be placed or not. Okay, so the first thing that Kenan does is it finds the distance between this new query point and all the old points training points it will find all the distances then it will sort the distances uh, in ascending order and find out three nearest neighbors because k is said to be 3 and now you can see that the three nearest neighbors are let's say just give me one second let's say the three nearest neighbors are this guy this guy and this guy now you will do a majority count you will basically do uh, voting and you can see since there are two not placed students and one placed student so you would say this new query point or this new student will not be placed and that is how knn works and you can see in this entire process knn started working only when it received this query point before this query point knn literally did nothing and that is what uh, is written over here in machine learning lazy learning is a learning method in which generalization of training data in theory is delayed until a query point is made to the system so things will start happening only after the introduction of this query point not before that and this is an example of lazy learning and that is why knn is a lazy learning technique